Good morning, boys and girls. Mr. Chet coming at you for the fourth week in March. Oh my goodness, 2021 is flying by. We're almost into April. I hope you boys and girls are having a good start to your 2021. I really do. I got a question for you. Have you ever thought to yourself, well, that's not fair? Or have you ever thought, you know what, life's not fair? Well, you know what, boys and girls? Life isn't fair all the time. It's really not. You know, this week we're, we're going to be learning about Jesus and how he died on the cross. You know, this is Jesus. This is someone who walked on this earth and his whole life he never sinned once. His only thing he wanted to do was do the will of the Father. And he did that to perfection. Never, never did a sin act. Never did a sin thought. Boys and girls, he was the perfection of perfection, right? Nobody ever in the history of ever has walked on this earth and not sinned. But Jesus, when he walked on this earth, he sinned. Jesus was the only person ever to walk on this earth and lead a sinless life. He was innocent. He was an innocent man and he died on the cross. Boys and girls, the cross was meant for the most despised sinner that, that the, the Roman world uh, had. And the Jewish people at that time, to die on the cross, that meant you were disgraced. You were disgraced. And you were the lowliest of the lowliest, right? Nobody could get any lower than you if you died on the cross. And that's what Jesus did, boys and girls. It was, it was the most unfair act ever right? If you lead a perfect life and you are innocent and to die on a cross like Jesus did, that is the most unfair act ever. But Jesus, he did that for us. He did that for us, boys and girls. He died on the cross. So, you know, um, so like if we confess our sins to Jesus and we ask him to, to forgive us of those sins and, and to become a part of our lives to ask Jesus to come and be be part of our lives and and say he is Lord and we know that he is Lord and that he died on the cross he was buried for three days and he rose from the grave uh, and then he ascended to the Father and he sits at the right hand of his Father you know if we know that we believe that we confess our sins boys and girls we get to spend eternity in heaven with Jesus because of that because of the most un fair act in the history of ever we get to benefit because of that now how awesome is that boys and girls it says that jesus endured the cross he endured the cross that means he suffered patiently that means he remained strong that means he remained firm he endured the cross it says in hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 and you can find that, like Mr. S always says, somewhere in your Bible. This is what it says. Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand throne of God. Wow, how awesome is that? Boys and girls, I just want you to know this this week, okay? This is going to be a quick lesson. I want you to know that I know that life is not fair. It's not. And there's going to be many times in your life where you say, that's not fair, or that's not fair, and life isn't fair. But I want you to know that Jesus died the most unfair way imaginable. And he endured the cross for us. And because... We ask Jesus to come into our lives, to be part of that. We get that indwelling spirit of Christ. We too can endure the unfairness in life. We can. I promise you, you, you can. Why? Because it's in the Bible, boys and girls. Because it's in the Bible. So I just want, I want to leave you with this. I want to leave you knowing that in all of the unfairness of life, if you have Jesus living in your life, if you ask him to become part of your life, you confess your sins to him, you say he is Lord, you believe that uh, he died on the cross for your sins, was buried, and after three days rose from the grave and then ascended into heaven and sat down at the right hand throne of God, that you can spend eternity in heaven 
And while you on earth, you can endure the unfairness of life. All right, quick lesson this week. Um, I, but I really want to stress the importance of, of knowing that life is not fair. But because we have Jesus in our lives, we can endure it just like Jesus endured the cross. All right, I'm going to pray and close, and I'll see you guys real, too, real soon. Father God, thank you so much. Thank you so much for dying on the cross, for, for allowing uh, through that, for, for us to confess our sins, to ask you to come into our lives, to, to proclaim that you are Lord, to believe that, to know that. And, and when that happens, you come and you indwell us. Your spirit indwells us and lives inside of us. And that means we can endure the unfairness of life. And when this life is over, we can spend eternity in heaven with you. Thank you so much, Jesus. I love you so much because of that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, boys and girls, I hope you have a great week. And I know life is not fair, but I know if you have Jesus living in your life, you will be able to endure it. So I will see you real soon. Okay, bye.